Hello, okay, now the mic's working. Um, easiest difficulty level default for the own custom galaxy. Huh. Sure. Let's do this. AD 2064. Planet Earth was on the brink of destruction. Clashes between the World Republic Federation and the various nations that opposed it sparked the outbreak of World War III. Weapons of mass destruction, deployed with complete impunity, raised the land in the blink of an eye. People believed it was the end of the world. The dire situation forced the two opposing factions to negotiate a ceasefire, reaching an agreement in only two weeks. However, the war may have ended, but its effects remained. With the deteriorating environment, Earth's population was drastically reduced. Those who survived the conflict lived a confined existence, trapped in underground cities. Countries joined together to form the greater United Nations and turn their eyes skyward to space. With the establishment of the USTA, or Universal Science and Technology Administration, man began to seek new worlds beyond the stars. A.D. 2087, the first year of the new space date calendar, Thanks to the success of Professor Trillis Bakhtine's warp drive experiments, mankind's dream inched ever closer to reality. The USTA secretly began to implement its SRF project, the Space Reconnaissance Force. Space Date 10, at last, the first official SRF mission. Okay. This moon base will be the start of our travels. <laughs> I bet they're rehashing all this stuff at the ceremony. <clears throat> all right, guess I better be going. Edge! <sighs> I knew you'd be here. Boy, I just can't get away from you, can I, Raimi? How long do you think we've known each other? I know all your hiding places, Edge. Yeah, you've been hanging on to me for as long as I can remember. Remember how you'd always cry when I wasn't around? Sure took the fun out of playing hide-and-seek with you. Th that was ages ago! <laughs> how are you going to keep treating me like a child? As long as you're so quick to flare up like that, I guess. Uh... If you're here, I guess the departure ceremony's over, huh? Anyway... There's still some time left until we take off. I'm gonna work out a few kinks in the battle simulator. Uh, sure. Hey, wait a second! You skipped the ceremony on purpose, didn't you? Yeah, well... I thought I was gonna be able to meet a real hero. I might have gone if Commander Kenny was there, but Shimada's pontificating would just put me to sleep. That's USDA Deputy Director Shimada to you. Besides... I didn't want to see Crow gloating over his success anyway. It just really bugs me. And you call me childish. <laughs> you just better not be late for launch preparations, you hear? Very detailed models.
Okay, so the little spark look. God damn it, attack me. I'll figure it out as I go along. Doesn't seem too bad. SRF 001 through 004, commencing auxiliary engine power adjustment. You imbecile! Are you trying to make me look bad? Sir, we're terribly sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Please accept our most sincere apologies. Base Commander Stephen D. Kenny, reporting from Earth, sir. Ha! <laughs> A rather leisurely return for the great Earth hero, Lightspeed Kenny, wouldn't you say? Wow, you're a dick. It hardly bodes well for the commander of such an important mission to miss his own departure ceremony. My apologies, Deputy Director Shimada. Truly, I am blessed with a superior of vast kindness and understanding to have been assigned trivial duties at a time like this. Hmm. Very well. I leave the rest to you. I'm exhausted, Commander. I had to oversee the ceremony in your place, you know. In any case, the guests seemed pleased. It made for a fine dawn to the age of space exploration. <laughs> what the fuck? A number of governmental officials were expected to attend the ceremony, sir. The presence of the commander would have just been a distraction. I'm sure that was his concern. It doesn't matter. 
The ceremony is just a formality anyway. We'll celebrate their departure from here. Yes, their departure. What the fuck is with that running? Good to know I know what the save icons look like now. Everything looks so shiny. What the hell's this? Oh, item creations. Okay. Wait. Holy shit. They have a shit ton of room in this hub. <laughs> How much you want to get it? Bet it gets destroyed. Okay, let's see. Talk to you. Wait. Go back for a second. They could at least made. Uh, oh! Wow! They actually got the transparency. Interesting. Wrong way. Wait, what? I'm in room one, right? <laughs> I'm over here, right? Oh. That's two save points? That close- what? Maybe the ship doesn't get destroyed. What's this? Cute little music. Okay. Now a noise gate should work properly. So, resting... what's over here? Nothing. Hmm. That's just where... who's over here? Nothing. Wait. Well, at least we have fire extinguishers. Oh. 
S size object would fit here. What? Do you decorate the fucking ship? Really? What the hell is this? Okay, laundry, but what's that? A shower? Really? Okay. Yep. Alright, um, where do I go then? Like, okay, maybe downstairs? And down through here? No. Ah, over here. Yeah. Oh shit. Wow. Am I actually a pilot? You leave sport duties who I'm your superior around here after all. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really. Huh? What's that? It's Will! Ah! Gotcha! Hey there, kid. It's nice to meet ya. You're Edge, right? Of course you are. You don't have to tell me. Anyway, greetings from USTA headquarters! Little old me, the name's Welch! As you can see, I'm a bashful little girl. I'll be the one supporting you from Earth, okay? This'll be fun! Looking forward to working with ya! Cheers! Uh... What is it, Edge? What's with that look on your face? <laughs> You don't mind if I use your first name? Nah, of course you don't. No, I, uh... Boy, is this one indecisive or what? Yeesh. Hey, you need a good poke in the eyes, is that it? Come here. Poke, poke. Hey, hold up a sec. Oh, man. I heard each ship would be getting support from Earth. But I never imagined anything like this. I <laughs> didn't think your support would be so cute, did you? Anyway, from here on out, I got your back, man. Straight to the fiery depths of hell! Uh, that's really not the kind of thing I want to be hearing before takeoff. Oh, relax, you'll be fine. Let's see now, your first destination is... Planet Eos, right? Fortunately, the unmanned exploration craft didn't report anything dangerous out there, like giant outer space bugs or whatever. So yeah, no worries, go for broke, Edge! <laughs> <sighs> Is this the kind of support we're to expect, ma'am? Ma'am? What am I, your mother? We're gonna be together for a while, kid, so let's dispense with the formalities. <sighs> oh, looks like you got another call. Oh well, enough lovers patter for now. Talk to you later! Yo, Edge! <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Edge, hey, don't just cut the transmission like that. This channel is not for communication with the captain of the Kalnis, sir. Or is there something a common crew member can do for you? Captain Crow F. Almedio of the SRF-001 Aquila? Pretending to be all dutiful doesn't suit you, Edge. You skipped the departure ceremony, didn't you? Who cares? It's got nothing to do with you. Raimi was upset. You really can be a pain sometimes, you know that? You done? Look, just don't be too hard on her, okay? 
Seeing the two of you fight makes your big bro so sad. <laughs> Fuck. We're not actually fighting. And would you quit with the theatrics already? It's really irritating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, Edge. Does it really bug you that much that I made, Captain? <sighs> actually, no, it doesn't. In fact, I think it's only natural you were promoted. It's just... <sighs> You're getting so far ahead of me. You really haven't changed at all. Still the same kid you were back in school and at the academy. <sighs> I'm not as far ahead as you might think. There's no need for you to rush yourself. Goodbye. Wait a second. Edge, you realize just how important our duties are with the SRF, don't you? Everyone shares the same responsibility, captain or not. Look, we're all in the same boat here. We're just as nervous as you are. Captain Almedio, nervous? <laughs> what, we expecting meteor showers tomorrow? This isn't a joke. Look, Edge, how should I put this? Let's both give it our all, huh? Yeah, let's. Great. Well, that's all I got for now. Looks like it's almost time. Bon voyage! Bon voyage? We're going to the same place. Oh well. I suppose I can't stay mad forever. Alright then. Let's get the show on the road. That's Mr. LaFrance, apparently. All hands in position. SRF-003 Calness. Initiate launch procedures. Roger. That looks kind of like Diva if she had long hair. <laughs> then again, also just the color, so, so I guess. This is it. Indeed it is. We've charged these children with the future of our species. Let us salute the departure of our seeds of hope. Zero, zero, 001 Aquila launch preparations complete. Zero, zero, 002 Belena to follow. You've all been trained well. Keep a steady hand and perform as you always have. The time to step forward is upon us. Brave pioneers charged with the destiny of mankind about to depart for space unknown. I pray for the success of your journey. So our name is Edge in the game. We're the blonde like pilot kid there that you saw. Uh, basically we decided in start World War Three, everybody nuked the entire fucking Earth. Um, but within two weeks they reached a peace agreement and then they decided to go to space. Zero, zero, 001 Aquila, launch confirmed. Zero, zero, 002 Belena, preparing to launch. Zero, zero, 002 Belena, launch confirmed. SRF-003 Calness. Engage! Yes, sir. Initiating launch. Although, for so many nukes that it went off, the water would probably be vaporized from Earth, I would figure. I mean, yeah. The intro scene is just like everywhere nuke. But our American president 
slightly as Japanese like with the goatee and everything. <laughs> And it was like, uh, I'd say, I don't know if it would be read. True, true. One hundred twenty seconds to warp out. Gravity balance, ship functions, all normal. Prepare for warp out. Finally, Aos. And I'm going to be the first to take that one small step onto the surface. <laughs> you really are just a big kid, Edge. Hey, it's a big deal for a guy, all right? An honor. Edge, be careful to keep the ship stable when we warp out. Oh, shit. Yeah, just ignore me, why don't you? <laughs> I do like their chairs. Is that an asteroid in the fucking warp gate? I'm getting a gravity reading. There's a meteor-like object on the plan trajectory. But from this distance I can't confirm any gravity wave interference. Meteor. The unidentified object has passed us. I'm detecting some minor fluctuations in the gravitational field. A meteor affecting our gravitational field? Isn't that strange? Yeah. Kelnus, commencing warp out. Ten seconds to warp out. Nine, eight, seven, six. Ah! Ah! What's going on? Status report! There's a fluctuation inside our wormhole, sir! An abnormal gravity wave is spreading fast! It's producing an error in our subspace flight tracer! Too late! We can't avoid it! What? Captain, interference from the gravity wave is spreading throughout the wormhole! Our planned warp out point has disappeared! We're gonna lose our navigational coordinates! Damn! What about the other four ships? No idea, sir! I'm not detecting them in subspace! Yeah, shit's fucked. Axis. We've got to initiate an emergency warp out. Raimi, I'll handle three, five, and nine. You take the rest. Coordinate access input complete. Warp out preparations complete. Edge! Everything's ready. Captain! Emergency warp out. All hands brace for impact. Fuck the shit, we're out! <laughs> well, we're not above the black hole, so that's good. But uh, that's a very good gravitational pull. Oh no, just a slight. Mm. Oh no, we're not coming down gently. Fuck. <laughs> well, we've landed! How the fuck is my face not through that monitor? <laughs> uh, damn. Oh. Did we uh, crash land? No shit. Where are we? Well, 
well, that, that's an interesting little landscape. Good luck fixing a ship on this type of planet! <laughs> but then again, we have like an item creation place where probably 3D print our own shit. Oh, you guys are currently knocked out. If only I've been more careful. He's knocked out! Hmm. Yeah, hot alien bitches around? Uh. Well, there is your sister, who has very low riding shorts. I don't know if they're related, Raimi? actually. Raimi! <laughs> Raimi, wake up! Very, like, diva color, so. Edge. Well, she's alive. Ah, oh, Mr. French is all safe. At least no one's critically wounded. Let's be grateful for small mercies. I'm issuing new directives. Status reports. Shit's fucked. The damage to the ship is severe. The Kalnus is in very serious condition, sir. However, based on my analysis of the data, I can say with confidence that we've arrived on planet Eos. All right, we made it after yeah. all! How the continue. fuck did we? We're not the only ones who crash-landed, sir. I've detected other ships in the vicinity that probably encountered the warp anomaly. The Countess is here. Here's the Belena and Dante de Leon. And the Aramia. First, let's join the Belena and Dante de Leon crews. Once we're back in operating condition, we'll request further instructions from USTA headquarters. Any questions? Captain, what do you think happened to the Aquila? It appears the Aquila attempted an emergency warp out as well, but I'm afraid that's the only information we currently have. Well, there's your answer on the Aquila. It concerns me, but there's nothing we can do right now. We have to concentrate on the task in front of us. The repair crew should prioritize subspace communication functions. We can't do anything without comms. I need those repairs completed double time, understood? Yes, sir. Mr. Maverick. Sir. I'd like you to scout the area around the ship and make sure we're safe here. Yes, sir. My name is fucking Edge Maverick. <laughs> Get the show on the road. My name is fucking Edge Maverick. God damn it. Japan. <laughs> Two crewmen. Uh, so many were. Yeah, I kind of figured you people would give me shit. Can I fix her? Who do you think you're talking to? Of course I can. Yeah. At least they did leave the wing actually broke off. <clears throat> and I'm playing this on normal difficulty and I have no idea about this series. But yeah. That should be fun. And then yeah, to unlock the higher ones, you have to meet certain Conditions. Probably beat the game for the first one. I don't know about that. Oh. The Kalnus actually held up pretty good, huh? Yeah. Edge. Do you think Crow is okay? I do. He's not the type to let something like this do him in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sure he's fine. Anyway, how are things looking out here? 
It's just like the exploration craft reported. The environment on this continent seems perfectly suitable for human habitation. There's lots of primitive gymnospermae like these ferns and cycads. The climate is subtropical and... Well, to put it in Earth terms... It's a lot like the Jurassic period. The Jurassic? Think we'll run into any dinosaurs? Oh god, you're gonna make the Come joke. On. The exploration report didn't say anything about any large-scale life forms. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck's that then? <laughs> what is that thing? Some kind of bug? No way. What is it? Hey, attack already. What the fuck? It's got a fucking force fill. He censored that. They do have to pause the block Amy, though. Get back to the Calness and bring back up. Run. I'll be fine. Run. Okay, don't do anything stupid. You would think the crew would have like, I don't know. Cameras. What the fuck's this? It's like, what the fuck was that? Work? Good. So they're not totally invincible. And that means I can do this. Bring it on. We're just getting started. <laughs> He's got the tries for some plot convenience. Come on, let's <laughs> do this. Da 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 da. Here I come. I did do a little combat tutorial. Switch your fucking target. Oh well, it's dead. Oh. Why is that? Okay. Okay, let's find out this. Um... There are only one of you left, so... Might as well practice... Yeah, like, I can turn on Japanese voices if you wish, but I have a feeling that would not be too enjoyable, considering this is a long RPG, probably. Although, yeah. Well, that was fun, though. I killed bugs. Ooh, what the hell is this over here? <laughs> Shiny! Harvest rare items, oh god. Oh god, I'm about to head out, I gotta help. Alright, well, have fun. Oh god, it's got mining shit. Ugh, let's see, are these guys totally dead? Wait. He's just unconscious. 
He's already dead, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Bob, you're dead. Oh, you're not dead, right here. <laughs> Stay calm, Andy! Hurry! Huh. Wow. So they're like, yeah, there, there's nothing, you know, dangerous. Well, what the fuck was those bugs with, like, bullet blocking abilities? I mean, less people to feed. Are you guys dead, actually? Um... No. Possibly. Alright. Oh boy, I found blueberries in a random pod. I'll be back eventually! Blackberries? Items equip. None. There we go. Defense and hit. Alright. Yeah, they said comes it down. <laughs> Click on. Boy. Okay, one. So are you... You're a guy. It said partner, though. Oh, wait. This is the career area. Never mind, I need to go back down. And through the other door. This door. How long do you plan on staying mad? You big jerk. I said not to do anything stupid. I'm not letting you off with this. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to explain, sir. We never heard about any dangerous life forms here. Securing a safe environment and eliminating threats to colonization. These are part of the SRF's duties as well, are they not? At this point, we have no choice but to request aid from the military and strengthen Don't be our... ridiculous. Do you think I'd let those blockheads meddle in this? People are dying here. Edge. What we need here are results. Danger, sacrifice, it's all part of the process. In any case, I don't have time to sit here listening to your petty complaints. Of course. 
Yes, I'd hate to be thought of as a cold-hearted superior who's all talk. So I've already contacted them for you. Them? You don't mean the- You'll be receiving their assistance shortly. Until then, I expect you to follow standard SRF operating procedure. Over and out. Uh. Them? Who's them? Hmm. I'll explain everything in due time. Special For now, forces. Well done, Mr. Maverick. You're the only man who wasn't seriously injured by that creature. Thank you, sir. It was just luck. May I ask if we've been able to contact the other ships yet? I'm sorry to say the Aquila remains a question mark. Sir, what about the Aramia? We know it's here on Eos. <sighs> we lost the Aramia's tracer signal earlier. It vanished. Vanished? <laughs> but you don't think... The possibility certainly exists, but let's not jump to conclusions yet. First, we must discover what became of the Aramia. Mr. Maverick, I'd like you to search for the Aramia. Me? Sir? <laughs> God damn. It undoubtedly be dangerous, but at this point... Edge. Understood. Edge Maverick, reporting for reconnaissance duty. Fucking Edge. Why did you accept such a dangerous assignment so quickly? And now you say you're going out there alone? Come on, Edge. That's just reckless. I can't just leave our people alone out there. <sighs> I have to get going, Raimi. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Wait, what? Where do you think you're going? I'm coming with you. And before you ask, yes, I already have Captain Grafton's leave. Are you kidding? You were just going on about how dangerous it is. And that's why I'm coming. To make sure you don't do anything else stupid. What? That has been known to happen? I said I wasn't letting you off, remember? What exactly do you think you're going to do if we have to fight another one of those bug things? I'll be able to hold my own as long as I have this. So, you think that'll do the trick? Why the ass shot? <laughs> well, I guess you were at the top of your archery class. <sighs> All right, I'm counting on you, partner. That's more like it. That's where the Aramia is. Let's go. <laughs> Conveniently, line of shot. Line of sight. Oh, you guys are recovered slightly, or you've slumped out. <laughs> Clues the bodies! I'm playing as her? All right. I can't harvest? What the fuck? <laughs> Nothing over here? Ah, 
<laughs> one shot, one kill. Well. Not bad. I said I was counting on you, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so it's basically like that time. Having an archer in this, I don't know if I would be able to play her. I may take care of her and see, like, what exactly her play style is like. Pretty simple. Pretty simple to play as her. So playing as her is not too hard. <laughs> but then again, this is the early game. But... It's like Hanzo, but easier! Where the fuck is he going? We're gonna, gonna, gonna go fuck yourself! <laughs> oh my god! Her fucking ability! 
I like it. Thanks, Hanzo, female version. Actually... Eh, we can handle a few more. Go, 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 fuck yourself! <laughs> God damn it, brother! Okay, we have slightly different bad guys now. Cannot revive, okay? They've learned! They've come alive! Okay, run, run, brother! At first. What the fuck is full? Also. What was my map? Ah, here we go. Um, okay, this way. Uh. Okay. I'm back! Now, do we have to save the hill or do we have to actually rest? I'm guessing we have to rest, given how it's there. Yep.
Okay, now that I unmuted the mic, so I'm just seeing. No, you're not wiped, you just took a fucking nap. Healing does fully replenish you. So, that's good to know. There's nothing over there. in this game. with his MP usage. You're not very aggressive.
Huh. I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. We can use this. Just getting warmed up. Bring them on. Come on, let's do this. Must become strong. Maybe now I can be of some help to everyone. Yes! 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 
I was just getting warmed up. Bring him on. Wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's safe. All right. We must become stronger. <laughs> That's one. Never mind.
Hey, you can. Didn't mean to do that. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Now's the time to strike. Come on, now's our chance. Yes. Yes. Like if you would just run around and let me kill them. Come on, 
<laughs> I'm just like, end around, end around. Oh shit! Just keep your cool. Let's do this. How about we save? <laughs> Yes! 
shit! She just got stun locked. Aw, nothing bad happens. <laughs> I mean, I kind of expected it. I mean, look how fucking low we are on health. I didn't preempted that shit. Just keep your cool. And Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Don't worry, brother. I got it. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Like, okay. Playing as her seems to be a little easy <laughs> for the most part. Hopefully they get better long range stuff. Oh, those the bats were a pain. God damn it, brother. We did it. Nicely done. Why the butt shot?
Give me that back. Okay, so we must learn a double jump or some shit. Killing orb things, gotcha. relatively intact compared to theirs. Hey! Hey! Nameless character number one! Hey! Hang in there! Did the other ships... make it? Be careful. The insects 
aren't the real danger. What? We crash-landed on the sea, made landfall, and scouted the area around us. That's when we found it. It? What did you find? A meteor fragment. A meteor? We brought it back to the ship for research, but... Everything just went to hell. <laughs> that, that's why I destroyed the ship. You destroyed your own ship? I had no choice. Why? Why would our own men? Your own men? Where's the rest of the crew? Stay away from it. It's dangerous. What happened here? Edge! <coughs> it's okay. Please, try not to talk. This planet is far too dangerous. You've got to... Ow. That's not one of ours. Yeah, it looks like some kind of transport. <laughs> Is this man from that ship? Um, where are the others? I see. <sighs> Edge and Raimi, is that right? Wait, uh, maybe you can't understand what I'm saying. Hmm, is there something wrong uh, with my translator? Um... No, we understand you. I've come to collect you at the request of Mr. Grafton. The captain? Look out! Huh? <gasps> what the hell is that? I don't know. But in any case, it certainly doesn't look very friendly. No, it doesn't. Watch out! Here it comes! <laughs>
I'm guessing we're supposed to lose here. Or it's a timed- oh shit!
Okay, so it's just supposed to be a false fight. There's so much left to do. Daily training is the key. <laughs> Daily training is the key. Is it safe? Yeah, seems to be. Probably ought to take it back as a specimen. It might have something to do with what happened to the Arania. The guy said it was fucking dangerous. Thank you. Blew up the ship. If you hadn't shown up, we'd have been in trouble. Oh no, not at all. Mm. If anything, it is your incredible skill that is worthy of admiration. If only I was able to fight like you. By the way, you are... Ah, do forgive me. I haven't told you my name. I am FaZe. FaZe Shifa Baleth. I am an Eldarian. An Eldarian? That is correct. To put it in terms you might more easily understand, I am what you might call an alien. Alien? <gasps> Wait a minute. So when the captain was talking about them... He meant you alien... uh... Eldarians? We Eldarians have been in contact with your Earth for somewhat more than a decade. It started with observational crosstalk. Eventually, we were able to confirm each other's existence. I'm not surprised you two were unaware of the situation. It was a matter handled with the utmost secrecy, after all. I see. Our crew here was out on a planetary exploration mission, just like yourselves. Through sheer coincidence, we happened to be investigating a nearby star system. That's when your USTA contacted us for assistance. We came as quickly as possible. Talk about astronomical odds. No kidding. Thanks a lot. I'm Edge Maverick. You can call me Edge. And my name is Raimi Sionji. You can call me Raimi. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Edge? Raimi? First of all, we'd better report back to Captain Grafton as soon as possible. I'll be happy to take you back. Please, climb aboard. We appreciate it, but... I'd like to scout this area a bit more before going back. Very well. Allow me to accompany you, then. What about that? Ah, you mean my soul? With this. It can synchronize itself with my brain waves and return of its own accord. Fancy. You really are from another world, huh? <laughs> Let us be on our way then. So that's why the fuck they put the healing thing there.
I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. So this is the very direct shortcut back. Fucking unloaded the fucking ship. There's literally no reason to fight everything. It's like a z not quite a Xenoblade, you know, you just go through it. Even though I've not played Xenoblade, I've watched it and it's like, oh, okay. I don't like I can get up that, like, what the hell. I get why you put the healing thing there, but at the same time, it's like... I can really... We well, want to bet there's a boss there later. We must make the most of the I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. I 
I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. Diligence, diligence. like is first looks on defense
Holy shit. We just got in and loose. A metric shit ton of people. Well, I'm gonna save here. Um, been going for two hours plus, and get ready for stuff. So, pretty interesting game. Um, yeah. Definitely interesting. I'll be playing more of it, I believe. So have a good one. Thanks. Uh, yes, program has... Congratulations. The closing of our network drive does not seem to always work.